Hi guys, welcome to TickBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 and Saturday preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27766. And well, this is a smaller build in the Canary channel, which has a few improvements that we're going to cover in this video. And of course, this week, maybe we'll get some bigger builds from Microsoft, also on the dev channel, who knows, Beta and Canary. Also next week, we should expect the first 24H2 security update or patch Tuesday for the main release. So of course, stay tuned for that. But in this video, we're going to talk about the Canary channel and if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all Microsoft fixed an issue where if you roll back from build 27764 to an earlier build including if the upgrade failed you'd see on your organization use app control for business to block this app dialog when attempting to use or install certain third-party apps on your PC due to an incorrect policy being enforced. So I've encountered this I've had to re install every OS from my quadruple boot on my laptop so that was quite painful to reinstall but it's good that they fixed this and also as of the latest and sadder preview builds in the Canary channel the main issues causing a sadder is to experience an increase in rollbacks with the error code 0xc190010 when attempting to upgrade have been addressed. As a reminder this error is a generic code that has multiple root causes so if you're continuing to experience issues with this you can file feedback for Microsoft to investigate. Also Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which was causing Simon Satters in the Canary channel to experience frequent Explorer.exe crashes after they clean, installed, or reset their PC. The native Copilot app is also getting an update. You can check for that in the Microsoft Store. Go to Downloads and then Get Updates and make sure you get all the latest updates. And then when you open up the Copilot app, you will see this new pop up which says Shortcut to Copilot. Use Alt plus space to talk to Copilot anytime on your PC. In my case, I'm going to select Not Now. And also, if you haven't seen the Copilot app in a bit, as you can see, this is now a native app so it's no longer a web-based app. I think that is pretty interesting and this of course can be uh, uninstalled and so on so you have full control over it. And also if you go to these three dots and then go and click on about you're also going to see the version of the app as spotted by Phantom of Earth on Twitter and this was not present in the first version of this app. Overall I think this app is looking pretty good and of course for those of you who are in touch with AI and want to use it more you can try out the native Copilot app in Windows 11 in all insider channels not necessarily in the Canary channel. Microsoft is also noting a few known issues, an error that is only available for Copilot Plus PCs that you can check out in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. And also Microsoft is working on the fix for an underlying issue causing accent colored window borders not be displayed when enabled, shadows around windows not displaying when enabled, and window launching and other animations to show even though the setting to show animations is turned off. So basically this is all there is to it in the latest Canary build. For more information of course you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post if you want. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.